Hey everyone! Today we're going to have a look at how to add view plugins to your Nuxt application. Now we already have this in the documentation and we even have an example. And you can just click on the examples and you can scroll down and find the view plugins. And here we go. Here it tells you exactly what files have been changed, what you need to do. And you can just like, you know, copy the code sandbox yourself. Or I'll just show you how. So it's really easy, as I said, um, but let's see how easy it is. So this is the one I'm gonna use, it's the VTool tip. And as you can see, the latest version here is version 2.1.2, that's the one I wanna use. And what it does is you like hover over something and it's gonna give like this, this tool tip, this button, of when you hover over, it's gonna give you that message, right? That's what I want. So we look down here, it tells you how to get started. And the first thing is, npm install save v.tooltip. So I'm gonna use Yarn, uh, but you can use npm. And I already have a, an application already created um, with create Nuxt app, so it's a very basic application. And I'm just gonna say Yarn add v.tooltip. And I wanna use the latest version, version 2.112. And I install that and it's gonna install everything for me. Okay, that's cool, I can now close this. And now what do I have to do? So now it says add the plugin into your app. So it gives you this here, and this is what we've got to add into our application. So where do we add it in the Nuxt application? So in Nuxt, we add plugins into the plugins folder. So in here, we just create a new file. Let's call it the tooltip.js, and we paste in here. We're importing view from view, importing vtooltip from vtooltip and view.use vtooltip. So that's pretty straightforward. Now, a little thing here, if this library was using something that was browser specific, that for example, um, use the, the window or document, then this is gonna like be a problem and your app will crash and then you'll go, oh my God, what's going on? So what you can do is you can just add dot client, oops, dot client, and if you name that file .client.js, Nux knows to register that only on the client side and it's not gonna do it on the server side and it's not gonna have any issues. So then when we register it, um, how do you register it? Well, you register it in the Nux config and you'd basically come here into your plugins and you can use the tilde and plugins and then what do we call it? The tooltip dot client dot js okay and then that's only going to register on the client side now this library doesn't have any issues with it does not using like window document or anything so i don't need to do that but in case you did that's basically how you would do that so the tooltip in my nux config uh i'm basically just uh registering it here so nux knows to use it and what's next so the next is add some style to your liking. So at the very, very bottom of this, it gives you loads of CSS and I've literally just copied it and I've pasted it into a CSS file. I've called it tooltip.css and this is the code just copied. You can edit this to your liking and remove it and delete things you don't want, etc. But for now, I'm just taking it. And obviously then in Nuxt, if I wanna use that CSS file, I need to tell Nuxt that that CSS file exists so I go in here, I use my tilde and I say assets and I called it tooltip.css as you can see here. And now that's gonna register it, great. And step four, use the vtooltip directive. So this is the directive and I can use it on anywhere I want, right? It's using it here in a button, but where shall we use it? Let's have a look. So in my pages, in the index, I only have one page and I've got a logo. So let me just put it in here, right? Now, as you can see, it's using dynamic data here. So I could create a data property and I could put anything I want in here. I'm just gonna keep it simple. And I'm gonna basically put, if you hover over the logo, I want it to say, Nuxt is awesome. That would be cool. So let's see if it works. So in my application, I'm just gonna refresh it. Oh, and I have an error. So that's because I was messing around with um, with the client JS and everything like that. 
So let me just go back to here and I'll restart it so, so that it's going to register that plugin correctly. Okay, so I'll take a couple of seconds. Let's go to our application as it's building. So remember, uh, if you're using anything on the client side, just client.js and if not, um, just remove client, just use it as normal. So now it should work and let's have a look. Ta-da! Nuxt is awesome. So that's how simple it is to add a view plugin to your Nuxt application. In case you've forgotten the steps, remember, we literally just added a plugin. Well, we first installed it, remember? Then we added the plugin. Let me just close that terminal. There we go. Uh, which we copied from the documentation. We put that in here. We register the plugin in the Nux config in the plugins array. We add a CSS file. We register the CSS file in the Nux config. And then we literally, in the pages, in our index, in our component, wherever we want to use it, we just use it just like this. And we can add dynamic data uh, if we want to. And that's it. Um, again, remember in the Nux documentation, you have the example here. So play around with it, have some fun and um, yeah, have fun creating view plugins and adding them to your Nux application. Thank you very much. Bye.